Hey guys, so it's that time of year again where we're ready for Halloween and we want to create some really creepy looks. So today I came up with this kind of skeleton style zombie look and I'm going to show you guys how to create it. So let's start. And I'm starting this look off with some circle lenses in and these are the Geo Bryler Gray from Maple Lens. And then I'm also using my Innisfree No Sebum BB Cream in shade number 2 just because it's really, really light for me and I want my skin to be really, really light in this video without using a white foundation. So I'm just applying that all over my face and I'm using a large amount because this BB Cream has a mattifying effect so it will turn into a powder look after it sets and then I'm just blending it in with my beauty blender. Here I'm actually taking Max Lip Pencil in Night Moth and that is just a really dark kind of burgundy purple color and I'm just applying that all over my lids in a messy kind of way and then I'm just taking a dense blending brush and I'm just blending that all around my eye area in kind of a almond shape and really extending it past my natural eye shape and down on the lower lash line as well. Okay, so now that that's all blended, I'm just taking this MAC eyeshadow in Espresso and I'm just taking that on a dense, short um, shadow brush and I'm just creating the shape of kind of skeleton bones on a face. You can use a image on Google as reference. I did that. And I'm just creating some of the shapes, not all of them, mainly focusing on the areas around my eyes, then creating the lines and blending it out to the lower portion so it adds some shadowing. Then I'm also just creating some lines on the upper part of my forehead and then shading the hollows of my forehead out so it looks more sickly and partially dead. Then once again you just want to make sure that you blend that out and create some shadow and depth to the area. Then I'm also going to carve out the hollows of my eyes or the bags of my eyes with the same brown just by creating a line where my bags would naturally be if I was dead or, you know, really, really sick. And then I'm just going to go in and do the same to my nose area so it looks more hollowed out. Then going on my chin and doing the exact same thing. And of course you want to do the same to the opposite side of your face and here I'm just creating more depth in my nose bridge on the inner corners. Then taking that same lip pencil from before I'm going to start creating a scary looking mouth. So just draw that all over your mouth line and then extend it past your natural mouth line to create more of that creepy look. Then fill it all in with the pencil liner. Okay, so now I'm just going to start making some teeth, so you can use reference if you want. Here I'm just creating sharp teeth like if I was to create a jack-o'-lantern or something, then I'm just going to fill them all in really roughly. You don't have to be neat here. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to go in with a dense blending brush again, and I'm going to start blending that out, but not too heavily because I want to still maintain a bit of that shape while having kind of a smoked out look to the mouth that looks almost like it's smoky or like it's rotting a bit. Who knows? <laughs> then I'm taking uh, Max Black Eyeshadow in Carbon and another blending brush, and I'm just going to focus that mainly on the center portion of my mouth, then kind of blending it up into the teeth that I created before.
Okay, so now I'm taking this really dark ox blood color lipstick by Maybelline in Espresso Exposed, and I'm taking a lip brush and I'm just putting that all over the inner part of my mouth and then re kind of creating the shape of the teeth that I had before. This will kind of give a bloody, kind of rotting flesh look without ha actually having to buy like fake blood or make fake blood. It's really kind of like a cheat way to do it. Then I'm going in and putting that all over my eyes and creating kind of like a water drop effect. Then using whatever is left over on the brush to just add some color to the shapes that I made previously. Then just blending it out in a crazy mess. Then next I'm just going to take whatever is left over again and I'm just going to create some random really really thin light lines on my face all over the areas that aren't done up and those are going to be kind of like veins showing through a bit on my skin as if I had really transparent rotting flesh that's just giving away everything. Okay, so now I'm taking that black eyeshadow from before from MAC and that same fluffy brush from before and I'm just applying it all over to the inner portion of my eye area, keeping it tight and close to the lash line, then blending it out and making sure that that color kind of takes over that liner and lipstick that I applied before. And I'm not applying too much because I want to maintain that wet kind of look to the eyes so it does look like sort of rotting flush in a way. Then taking whatever is left over of that black, I'm just going to add a little more shading to the areas that I was shading before, just to give my face a little more depth and dimension. Next, you can apply mascara or false eyelashes if you want, but I want that kind of dirty look, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And there you have it, a really creepy look. So, I'll see you guys next Halloween. Bye.